In this video, we're going to do an exam style question on the locus of a complex number. Given that the complex number z satisfies the mod of z minus 2 minus 2i is equal to 2, in part a we ask a sketch on an arg and diagram for locus of z. It says, given further that arg of z minus 2 minus 2i is equal to pi by 6, in part b we need to find the value of z in the form a plus ib, where a and b are real numbers. OK, so what we'll have is an arg and diagram. From the previous videos, we should recognise that this is going to be a circle and it's going to have centre at 2 plus 2i and a radius of 2. So let's draw that on there and we'll have something that's going to look give or take like so. So let's put this on and move it into place. So we'll have the centre and that will be just here. So now we'll put that on and this is going to be 2 plus 2i. Here is my real axis, so we can put on here real axis. We're going to have this point now. This point is going to be 4, if we just consider the radius is 2. So we've got two lots of radius. This point now, this is going to be the imaginary axis, and this is going to be the point 4. We've got the origin here, and this now is the mod of z minus 2 minus 2i is equal to 2. So there we go. If you want to put a radius on, you can do that. Given further the arg of z minus 2 minus 2i is equal to pi by 6, we need to find the value of z in the form a plus ib, where a and b are real numbers. Again, from the previous videos, we should recognise this as a half line. So putting a line parallel to the real axis, I can measure my pi by 6. I'll take now a vector, and this will come up here. That looks about pi by 6, give or take, and then we can simply draw this up. Remembering that the actual... Um, 2 plus 2i is not included, we put on here pi by 6. This is a half line, it doesn't continue down here. z is going to sit just here, and that's what we're looking for. Now, when we convert this to Cartesian form, if we simply solve the simultaneous equation, we're going to get a solution down here, and that's the difference that we should be able to spot. The fact that this is a half line means that z is going to be this solution here, rather than either or. So let's now express this in Cartesian form. So we'll now write this, and again, if you want to go back to previous videos and check this out, you're more than welcome to do so, but we can write this in Cartesian form now as x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared is equal to the radius squared. If I was doing this in an exam, I'd probably be tempted to write it out and show the full, uh, full working, but this now is going to be equation 1. This is the equation in Cartesian form of the circle. Now, we're going to look at this one. Arg of z minus 2 minus 2i is equal to pi by 6. So we'll leave equation 1 alone. And we'll just focus now. So what we've got then is arg of z minus 2 minus 2i is equal to pi by 6. I'm going to rewrite this and remove the argument. So we're going to write now arg and using the x and y notation we can have x minus 2 plus i and then we'll have y minus 2 and that's going to be equal to pi by 6. I can now remove the argument and rewriting this, we're going to have y minus 2 over x minus 2 is equal to the tan of pi by 6. That should be fairly logical. If we've got this angle now of pi by 6, we can simply find the gradient by taking the tan of pi by 6. So what we've got now is the following. We've got y minus 2 over x minus 2 is going to be equal to tan of pi by 6. That's going to give us 1 over root 3, or if we rationalise it, root 3 over 3. I'm going to leave it as 1 over root 3, as it will probably make my life a little easier. So what we're going to have then is the following. We're going to have now y minus 2 is equal to 1 over root 3, the quantity x minus 2. This is just one way of doing that. You don't have to go through there. You could probably pick this point in Cartesian form, get um, the value of tan uh, of pi by 6, and just use that given in Cartesian form. I've just done it by removing the argument. But you're more than welcome to do it in Cartesian form. So here's equation 1, and here is equation 2. So what we've got now is equation 1 and equation 2. 
So all I'm going to do is rewrite these down here. We've got now equation 1, and that's x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared is equal to 4. And then we've got this one just here, and that's equation 2, and that's going to be y minus 2 is equal to, and I'm just going to put that in brackets, hopefully you can see what's going to come up here, uh, 1 over root 3, then we're going to have x minus 2. So, all I'm going to do is substitute in, if y minus 2 is equal to 1 over root 3, x minus 2, I'm going to sub it in. So what we're going to have then is x minus 2 all squared plus, and remember I'm now squaring this term, 1 over 3, x minus 2 all squared is equal to 4. So what we're going to have then is the following. We're going to, what's that going to give me? 4, and we've just tidy this up. 4 over 3, x minus 2 all squared is going to be equal to 4. So dividing both sides by 4, multiplying by 3, what we're going to have now, and I'll take the square root as I go, we're going to have x minus 2 will be equal to plus or minus root 3. So x will be equal now to 2 plus root 3, or x will be equal to 2 minus root 3. Now root 3 is about 1.7 something or other. So if we think about this now, if we do 2 minus root 3, that's going to give me this value down here. So that isn't the one that we want. So what we want is this one right here. x is going to be 2 plus root 3. So if we take now, so let, uh, let's have that, x is going to be 2 plus root 3. All we need to do now is sub that in to find y. So let's do that then, let's sub in. What we're going to have then is y minus 2 will be equal to 1 over root 3. And then we're going to sub this in. I'm just seeing if there's a, an easier place to put that in. It's no biggie. If we put this in right here, we've got 2 minus 2 and then the root 3. That's going to work out quite nicely, and y is going to be equal to 2 plus 1, which is 3. So there's my x value, there's my y value. So this in the form a plus ib can be written as 2 plus root 3, and then we're going to have plus 3i. And that's going to be this point just here. So the value here of a, 2 plus root 3, the value of b is going to be and we found the value of z. So there we go, that's one way of doing the question. If you don't like this, again, you can work by simply using geometry, pick the point 2, 2, you've got an angle now of pi by 6, therefore you can find the tan of that and work there. This is just one, one approach. Um, this could, uh, I'm just looking, um, I kind of think that this could be done a little tidier, but hopefully it gives you some idea of what you're doing. From previous videos, you know that's a circle, and previous videos, you know that is a half line. Sketch them up, find where they meet, and then just put it in the form A plus IB.